Okay, we have the sum from one to infinity of one over n times three n plus one. Okay, I know a few different ways to do this, and in this video what I'm gonna do, I wanna use the digamma function on it, but first, I kinda of don't like having this three here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factor, I'm gonna rewrite it and factor a three out of the denominator. But then I'll also factor a three out of the numerator, so then this is just gonna be a one in front. Then that way the numerator is just gonna become one third. Then I'm gonna factor, well rewrite this, this will become n plus one third. And then what I wanna do here instead of partial fractions is let's try to create some cancellation. I'm gonna add an n on there to cancel with this part, but I don't wanna change it, so let's subtract n. And then let's take this and break it up into two terms. And then we can cancel this with this, cancel n with n. And let's see what it looks like all cleaned up. Oh my God, what did I do? No. Okay, now from here we can take this and use our series expansion for the digamma function that we have down here where we express it with minus, this right here is the euler mascheroni constant, which is around 0 0.577. Our input here is gonna be this z value, and our sum is just gonna be one third. Now in order to just isolate the sum that we want in the formula, I can rearrange it a little bit. Let's just add the constant on both sides here so that it cancels out on the right. Then using this, what we're gonna have is gonna be euler mascheroni constant plus digamma of one third plus one. So this is gonna be four thirds over here. But now let's just see if we can reduce this and clean up this whole thing actually. So for digamma of C plus one, we can reduce this to digamma of C plus one over Z. So for digamma of four thirds, I can write this as digamma of one third plus one over one third, which is just gonna be a three. So put this back in here and we've got Euler mascheroni constant plus three plus digamma of one third. But now how can I reduce this to something nicer and how can we get rid of the Euler mascheroni constant in this? Well, let's look at a couple of formulas that can allow us to get like a numeric value for this right here. By the way, I think I've done this before in previous videos, so I'll provide a link in the description to the playlist for the digamma function, but let's just go through it again. So I have these two formulas. First one is the multiplication formula, the second one, is the reflection formula that's going to allow us to get the non-integer values of the digamma function. So let's start with this formula here and I'm going to call the value we want is for digamma of one third we want one third so I'm going to call this z one thirds and the way to get this to be a nice value is if I say n is three then what's going to happen here then on the left side of this equation we end up with three times one third but this is just digamma of one, and we have this known value that digamma of one is gonna be minus Euler mascheroni constant. So then on the right side of the equation, one over n is one third. The sum n minus one, we're gonna have a two here. K equals zero from digamma of z, which is one third, plus just k over n, which is three. And then we're gonna have ln three here. So again, on the left, digamma of one is gonna be minus Euler mascheroni constant. Then on the right, let's just break out. This is just going to be three terms here. So it's going to be for the first one, when k is zero, we just have digamma of one third, which we want. The second one, digamma of two thirds, when k is one. And when k is two, you get digamma of one, but we know what that is. That's minus the constant. And then we just have this ln three. Multiply by three on both sides, and we have minus three times the constant. It's going to cancel with this here. And then we still have to multiply in a three on this ln three here. Then we basically, in this equation, we have two things we don't know. We don't know what, I mean, you could look it up, but right now we don't know digamma one third and digamma two thirds. So let's isolate those two things. Then rearranging, get all this stuff on the other side of the equation. We're going to be adding Euler mascheroni constant. We get two minus two Euler mascheroni constant minus three ln three. And so now we still have two things we don't know, and that's why we need to introduce a second equation. That's where we'll use the reflection formula. Okay, now for our reflection formula, we'll use the same value, z equals one-third. You could do it the other way and use two-thirds. It's not really going to matter, but let's stick with one-third. So plugging in here, you're going to get digamma two-thirds, subtracting one. And then for the second one, it's just going to be digamma one-third. And then for the right side, we're going to have pi. You could actually write this a different way. You could write it as pi over tan pi z. Sometimes I like this because I remember the values for tan, but it doesn't matter because the values of tan are the reciprocal, the values for cotangent. So anyway, so anyway, z is one third. So tan of pi over three is going to be just square root of three. So this over here is going to be pi over square root of three. 
And now here we've got our two equations, two unknowns. Usually what I want to do is add these together. The only problem is if we do that, our goal, the one third part is going to cancel. So what I'll do instead is subtract these two equations. That way, the two third part that we don't care about goes away. On the left side, we get two times the gamma one third. Subtracting on the right side, minus two times the constant, all this stuff minus pi square root of three. Divide by two on both sides, divide by two. And so for our value, that gamma of one third, we're gonna have just minus the constant, minus three over two, ln three, and over here minus pi two square root of three. So all I need to do is let's just take this, plug it back in over here and finish it off. Okay, now that we've got our diagamma one thirds plugged back in, we just need a little simplification. First, the Euler mass curve and the constants are gonna cancel and give us a zero there. And then we just need to sum it up. So for my final solution is we just get three minus three halves ln three minus pi over two square root of three, and that's it. Okay, so I plan on doing this with different methods in upcoming videos, although maybe probably not the same exact problem. I'm not really sure yet. So I might vary it a little bit, but something really similar. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.